All right, it's uh, day three of phase one, Steve Cook big program. Uh, it's a core workout evaluation day. Uh, it means mostly the, uh, the abs, the abductors, the obliques and all that other stuff. Gonna go find out if I can survive all that. It's a little later in the day. I uh, wasn't feeling so well this morning. My wife was, uh, or my, my daughter, um, wasn't feeling well all night. Uh, my wife was up with her most of the night. We switched off so she could get a little sleep. That's a stomach bug, I think. Uh, I'm not going to let that slow me down. Um, so I'm a little behind on my macros for the day, but um, luckily the war on carbs day allows for a, a carb meal tonight that's free for a four-hour window. So I'll probably make up a little bit. I'm still probably not going to bust 2,500 calories for the day. I swear, I mean, even on the war on carbs thing, you know, 240 plus grams a day of protein, 100 grams of fat, uh, 40 to 50 grams of carbs. I, I, I can't even get over 19 to... Uh, 2,000 carbs. I want to run a bit deficit because I am a bit heavier. I want some, to shed some of the, the body fat the first 12 weeks uh, or phase one and then when I go into phase two be really really ready for that uh, challenge. Um, so far I'm really happy with the program. Uh, they break it up pretty good. I mean I've been back in the gym for six or seven weeks and I did not expect that when I did these this just this first week that I'd be as sore as I am as quickly as I am because I take a lot of recovery uh, opportunities for stretching, swimming, uh, the supplements during for the BCCAs and recovery aminos and all that. Uh, and man, I, I'm sore underneath my arms. I'm sore on my on my legs uh, and, the, and the heads of my delt or my quads. Uh, my knee a little sore. I think that's more because of the hip flexors. So I got to really work on my, my mobility. Uh, so those that don't do it, you need to go out and get a foam roller and some bands. You got to really do it. I've been doing that for almost a year. Uh, and I still have a lot of long ways to go for my, my flexibility. Uh, there's a link, I'll, I'll post it down below when I post this and edit it, that um, Lex Griffin did with Omar Usif uh, for stretching and getting some stuff squared away for squats. It actually is not only just applicable for squatting, but is just good old fashioned flexibility training. Uh, to help release your quads, your, your, your hip flexors, and, and in turn that really helps with the um, lower back and middle back pain. One of the things in the program, I'm not going to tell everything about the program for today, is there's an exercise that I've actually been doing that was recommended by the physical therapist uh, and everything that is really good for thoracic release. It's a side plank uh, with the rollover, so it's really good. I'm excited about that being in here. Um, Anyways, uh, I'm trying to keep my blogs under three minutes. It's three minutes now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to head into 24 Fitness here um, and do my core workout, a little bit of cardio, uh, head home, pick up the wife and the kids, uh, and do a little uh, shopping, uh, maybe go by the, probably Costco for some dog food, I think, uh, chocolate milk for the kiddos, uh, and then I think we need to get some more vegetables about one week at a time right now otherwise it just, it just <laughs> there's no room in the fridge uh anyways i'm out talk to you later swolder nation and uh and everyone that's uh participating in this I had a great workout today later